Uh, hi there, Dr. Keith, wearing a Violite. Now, I know a lot of you will know what this device is, and rightly so. However, it's time we had an update. So I want to talk to you about what we call multimodular intranasal photobiomodulation, or MIN for short. What the heck is that? Well, let me tell you that photobiomodulation, since I first began writing about it over 10 years ago, it's become very big. It just means, it's a simple word, it just means tweaked light to create biological changes for beneficial and healing purposes, of course. Why else, why else would we do it? Now, I've been working in tandem with a major international company based in Canada, who've researched and developed these kind of devices and they hold many relevant patents. Some years ago, I created a YouTube video explaining how these devices could decrease blood viscosity. Now, let me talk more about that. We're gonna revisit with a new kind of device I'll show you shortly. What's the point? Well. Orthodox medicine believes that it's obsessed with blood, fats, and cholesterol, and all that story. And they're trying to get us to believe, contrary to all the evidence, really, that these are the cause of blood clots and heart attacks, strokes, embolisms, and all that stuff. It's hooey. The really crucial element is not blood composition. In any case, nature does that for us. She does a very competent job of dealing with issues and correcting and putting things right. She doesn't need crank doctors trying to shove their theories onto her. The real issue is how thick the blood is. Now think of it this way, pouring paint from a can. It's slow and it's sludgy and takes a long time to pour. That's because it's very viscous. That's the technical, you could call it slow pouring. But the technical word is viscous, it's very viscous. But if you pour water from a glass of, say a glass of water or a bottle, it gushes easily, it's very thin. In other words, we say that it's got low viscosity. Well, why is that important? It's very important, actually. I usually explain it like this. If your blood is like, listen, let me take this out, huh? in case it's distracting you, never mind distracting me. Mm -hmm. But if your blood is like tomato ketchup, it'll go slowly through the blood vessels. Some vessels it may not go through at all, the capillaries in some tissues. But if your blood is like wine, it flows freely. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, winos and drunks are the only people with free flowing blood. I'm just simply they're both red liquids, okay? One is very sticky and slow, and the other one pours a bit like water, like a low viscosity version. Now, it's very important, actually, in ways you wouldn't think of. But low viscosity blood is actually, it, you know, visits the tissues in greater quantities and is very good at carrying nutrients and oxygen to the tissues to remove toxins and waste efficiently and carrying all kinds of signaling messenger chemicals like hormones, cytokines and all that stuff uh, around the body. So very important. Now, it also means your blood is far less likely to clot. In other words, there's a much lower risk of stroke, myocardial infarction, that's a, a blood clot that damages the heart feeding vessels and the heart, you could die on the spot or you, your heart could be badly damaged uh, and similar sort of disasters. Now, even if the threat's not so extreme, we do know, thanks to the work of Otto Warburg, Nobel Prize winner, that cancer loves low oxygen levels. So slow, gloopy blood actually would definitely favor pro-cancerous conditions, right? Not good. But it's worse than that in ways you might not think of. If blood is viscous and flowing slowly, it doesn't bring as many nutrients to the tissues. And that includes supplements, all the good things you're taking. You might be taking a whole bunch of good stuff and actually not getting anything like the full value because of the slow delivery process. Okay. 
Uh, it's like having a food delivery service, but the trucks are running slow because the backed up traffic, you know. Uh, it's not only a waste of money, duh, but, you know, you might not be getting anything like the therapeutic benefits that you think you need. You might think that you're on top of your health problem, but in reality, you're not. If you can't feed and cleanse your tissues in efficiently, then you're in line for disease. And it goes without saying, you'll age faster. And I'm wondering when the pendulum will swing away from this nonsensical, obsessive focus on lipid metabolism and move to viscosity and clotting, because that's what's important. Most fatal cardiovascular events are blood clots. They're not fat sludge, for goodness sake. Anyway, and, and now a new study from Edinburgh University in the UK has shown conclusively how important blood viscosity is. It's not the quality of the artery walls that matter. You know, they tell you that the plaques and the atheroma, oh, that's a bad deal. Oh, there's almost 90%, you know, filling in or clotting, not clotting, but, you know, narrowing of the arterial. It's all baloney, actually. <laughs> It's not the quality of the blood vessels alone. That's what they showed, that it's the free flowing liquid versus sludging characteristics of the blood. Raised blood viscosity, they found, was at least as important as two old favorites, blood pressure and the so-called bad cholesterol in predicting death by heart attack. Plus they showed that thickness of the blood or raised viscosity, in other words, is more important than smoking as a risk factor. Wow, I mean, that's pretty amazing. So it's, I mean, obviously doctors who are making money off that old outdated nonsense and chasing cholesterol leveling levels for a living, they're not gonna act on this uh, and change their patient care and big pharma's gonna do everything they can to smother the research because they make huge they make billions out of statin drugs which are supposed to control cholesterol but they've got nothing to do with health and longevity in fact did you know that for people over 60 the more cholesterol in your blood the longer you're gonna live it's ridiculous so as i say they're not you're not going to get any help from orthodox medicine and orthodox doctors but in the meantime you can work on your own blood viscosity as well as the benefits that I've outlined, uh, you, but there will be other benefits. I mean, you're clearer thinking, less likely to dementia, you know, feeling good, sharper mentally. So in everything, every sense, this is a good thing to do. Now, your blood, your doctor will probably want to measure the blood clotting time. That's how quickly blood will clot. Current wisdom says just that the faster it wants to clot, the more likely you are to have trouble. They give you anticoagulants to slow down the clotting. But the side effects are horrendous. The number one reason for emergency admissions in the ER are due to complications of blood thinning drugs. And it can be sudden and disastrous and, in fact, fatal to some people. What you really need is to measure blood viscosity. And you've got to nag your doctor to do this. Otherwise, they won't do it because they don't understand uh, all right, so where am I going with this? Well, I have a terrific proven way to reduce your blood viscosity to get it back to the super fluid it was when you were younger in the prime of life. And that's lowering inflammation with laser light. What? <laughs> it's true. There's been a lot written lately about how pulsed electromagnetic frequencies, PEMF, can do this. It really works. It saves lives. But PMF devices are cumbersome, they're this big, <laughs> and they're expensive, thousands to up to $20,000. Now there's another way, which is to administer laser light to the blood via the nose. Once upon a time, they used to shoot it in your arm. You know, they'd take blood and subject it to laser light and then re-inject it back into a vein, back into the circulation. Not so good, really. It's... Uh, uh, well, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't want someone to be doing that to me. But so, nowadays, it's so easy. It's a. It's a joke, and nobody should be without one of these super new devices that will thin your blood. It save your life. You shine the laser lamp 
up your nose. Now, don't laugh. Here's a picture of a guy doing it. It's easy. You just shove it up your hooter and switch on. I can do this and use it while I'm working at my word processor. It's a very good reason for you. There are very good reasons, I should say, for using this route of administration, which is that when the nasal, pa the, the nasal passages here have a huge network of blood vessels, much more than the brain, actually, more blood flow going through this part of your face than is actually going through your brain. So merely shining the light up your nose is the same or better than feeding laser light into rerouted blood, but it doesn't have the risks. Now, here's a very important proof story. We'll take a look at these two images. The blood sample on the left is very typical of what we see in normal or average person, an average person's blood. It's all strung together in these clumpy ropes called rouleau. You know, they're, they're, they're stuck together. It's red cells electrostatically stuck together. And these ropes, obviously, they're clumps. They won't throw, flow through capillaries well. They don't take up oxygen so efficiently, and they squeeze and inhibit the function of immune cells. There are some white cells in there, but they're not given much of a chance, are they? Uh, so, and of course, the white cells are part of the immune system, so you don't want them squeezed out of the action. So it's bad news all around. We don't want rule of formation in herbivores. But look at the image on the right. That shows the rule of effect eliminated by just a few minutes of low level laser light, just like this. It's exactly you would do if you're, your bloodstream, if you want this cute little device for half an hour or so. And you'll see all the cells are separated from one another. They don't stick, they don't clump. And so viscosity is low as it should be. And this effect lasts up to two or three days. So in, instead of sludgy blood, threatening a stroke or heart attack at any moment, the, the risk is dramatically reduced. You know, using this uh, four or five times a week keeps your blood permanently nice and fluid. Now, after a lot of searching around, I decided on the Violite as your best possible option for administering this life-saving low-level intranasal light therapy. Uh, the, the basic device delivers 640 the 55 nanometers of light uh, as a laser light. And in fact, you can get two versions. Uh, there's a 633 nanometers, which is uh, LED lights, not laser light. So you can have one or the other. Actually, la the laser version isn't particularly magic. It's just light and it'll penetrate to a degree and is sufficiently bright to shine a certain amount of light energy directly into your brain via the thin skull bones at the back of the nose. Now take a look at this. This is a picture of me wearing a device like this taken in a darkened room so that the light shows up. Look at it. It's illuminating the whole of the front of my face uh, up to the, uh, the top of the roof of the nose is the underside of the brain. It's very, very efficient indeed. And it's a brilliant way to administer this important technology. Now, the price I consider ridiculously cheap when you compare it to the cost of a, a PMF device with similar capabilities. Plus, you know, it's tiny. Look, it's tiny. It slips into your pocket and you can take it with you anywhere. This one has two outlets, as you can see. I've got one in the right, one in the left nostril. Let's, let's explain that a little bit more. <laughs> what we found is that the science is, the science is, continuing you know, pace. And we now have studies showing that intranasal photobiomodulation with laser light will help clear viruses. You'll know which virus I'm thinking of, of course. And sure enough, we have a study showing that the Violite device is actually beneficial in speeding up recovery time from COVID. In fact, one of the family, this family of devices, uh, not this particular model, but the Violite RX Plus has received uh, Health Canada's approval for COVID-19 viral recovery. Uh, the Health Canada is the Canadian equivalent of the FDA. <laughs> Nobody wants to know this. Research, general research, of course, you probably know, shows that blue light inactivates viruses and bacteria.
Now, another very important innovation since I first shot my Viola video years ago is the latest models allow you to switch backwards and forwards. You can go from the 655, that's the red one here, the laser, to 810 nanometers, that's near infrared. Uh, that, the 810 acts as a gentle brain stimulation and it'll help you grow more restorative gray cells. But you can also switch frequency from relaxing and calming 10 hertz, that's alpha or chill brain frequency, if you like, up to 40 hertz, gamma, that's brilliant for focus and energy. So you can actually get different applicators. These are called applicators. You can get one for blue light, 470 nanometers blue light, which, as I said, is antiseptic and can clear bacteria and viruses. And the LED version of the red light, if you got the laser, you could get the 635, 633, sorry, which is LED. Or if you've got the LED, you can switch to the laser version, 655. So that's four different energy applications, blue light, LED, red light, a laser red light, and 810 nanometers near infrared. So that's why it's called uh, multimodal intranasal photobiomodulation, or an MIP device. And it truly is multimodal, as you've just seen. And it's a big advance on the breakthrough model. So I think that just under $400, it's fantastic value because more than one person can use this device and it lasts 10 years. Listen, it probably lasts 50 years. Nobody knows, but they're well made. But even if it only lasts 10 years, that's $40 a year, less than a dollar a week for this brilliant device. So uh, I think you'll find that there's a link here to purchase a Violite MIP, the multimodal version. The 655, that's the one I use, the laser version. Uh, which is the best starting place. And I put the link below this video. Uh, and also I've, I shall put it in the video itself so you can see it or read it during the course of the, you know, the conclusion of the video. Uh, it's important to understand, listen, it's a guaranteed product. And these are nice people. They're not going to cheat you. And if you want to return it, if it's not for you, they've got a very generous, you know, six months, no question asked return policy. They'll give you 80% of your money, but they can't give it all back because they can't then sell it. You can't have medical devices that have been up somebody's nose sold to a stranger. I mean, it doesn't matter if you, you and your wife, in any case, you just cleanse it with alcohol and a, and a, a small cotton ball cotton wool pad okay but anyway this company a brilliant company uh, and they they have very good customer support they've got this is satisfaction guarantee as i said and a product warranty or you're, you're covered every which way they've got your back but it's very important to understand this does not apply to any devices that you buy through unauthorized channels so you go to ebay and amazon you're not going to get any of these benefits none of the backup and support so it's better to deal with a proper person. I'm obviously a registered and recognized authorized agent for this product. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this with you. All right. So it's time to get one. This is a brilliant new way forward. I love the way technology is bringing Western energy medicine. Uh, you know, it's, it's better than, well, not better, but it's different to the sort of Chinese model of the winds and all these different things and Ayurveda, these are all good. But I think energy medicine in the West is going to be technological brilliance. Uh, and this is a great example. This is the Violite MIP device. Go get yourself one. You'll never regret it. Uh, and here's the purchase link. It's just below the, the video. And this is the purchase link in the video itself. All right. So that's a, you can see now why I love this product. I think it's brilliant. Take care. Bye.